Garmin Summer by Stian Ho. Garmin Summer will soon be over. The grasshoppers are singing, and the three old aunts are coming to stay. They arrive by boat from another time, and always with a package for Garmin. Soon it will be autumn. Every summer, the aunts shrink a bit in the sun, Garmin thinks. Soon they won't be able to see over the grass. A ladybug flies in in the wind and lands on Garmin. Garmin makes three quick wishes before he hugs the aunts. They feel soft and pillowy against his cheek. Before he has undone the paper, Garmin knows what is in their soft package. A knitted hat with a pom-pom on top. How do you feel about starting school? Do you have butterflies in your tummy? Auntie Borgild asks. I'm scared, Garmin answers, wondering how butterflies get into your stomach. I'm scared too, she whispers. Soon I will have to use a walker with wheels. You can borrow my skateboard, Garmin answers, imagining Auntie Ruth skating along the pavement at full speed. Auntie Ruth laughs. Garmin climbs up the plum tree and listens to the aunts praising the brightly colored garden. They all talk at the same time, clap their hands, and flit from plant to plant like bees. You certainly have a green thumb, they say to Garmin's mother. Not one of Garmin's teeth is loose yet, and school begins tomorrow. Now it's urgent. Every evening, all summer, Garmin has been feeling his teeth in front of the mirror. The neighbor girls, Hannah and Joanna, have both lost their two front teeth. Garmin feels his front teeth again, but no matter how hard he presses, they will not budge. The aunts have lost their teeth. Now they wear dentures. Auntie Borgild has lots of wrinkles and long white hairs on her chin. The wrinkles remind Garmin of rings on a tree. Are you going to die soon? Garmin asks. Auntie Borgild looks up at the branches of the apple tree. Yes, it probably won't be long now. She straightens her dress. Then I'll put on my lipstick and my best dress and travel into the great starry wagon in the sky until I come to a large gate. Auntie Ruth is next to Wick. What are you scared of, Garmin asks. The long winter, Auntie Ruth says. The cold, dark nights and snow plows and slippery pavement and shoveling snow and trudging through the snow in heavy boots with a walker. Auntie Augusta isn't scared of anything. She is a bit forgetful and doesn't remember what it's like to be scared. Are you scared of anything? Daddy and Garmin are sitting on the doorstep drinking juice. Daddy doesn't seem to hear the question. Almost every evening, Daddy plays the violin in the orchestra pit at the theater. I think everyone is scared of something. Even Hannah and Joanna? Even Hannah and Joanna, Daddy says. Surrounding the garden is a hedge with secret passages inside. Hundreds of tiny sparrows live in there. If Garmin sits absolutely still, they will come out. There is a dead sparrow on the ground. The gray feathers at the back of its neck are still soft. He puts the bird in a big empty matchbox and buries it in the ground. Then he makes a cross with two sticks and places it on top. Garmin hears the aunt's voices, laughter, and clicks of coffee cups in the garden. When you die, you travel into the great starry wagon in the sky, thinks Garmin. But first of all, you have to be buried. Mama clears the table while the aunts play checkers. Are you scared of anything, Mama? Garmin whispers from the hedge. She crouches down on the grass and speaks very softly into the hedge. I'm scared to go to the dentist on Tuesday. The aunts are leaving. They have all the time in the world, but no time to lose. The three old ladies fill their bags with homemade jam and flowers and magazines and say, what a wonderful show the summer has put on this year. Garmin wishes summer had only just started. Garmin is allowed to go down to the bay and watch the boats. Three deep blasts of the ship's horn and the aunts leave the town behind them. He watches them getting smaller and smaller. Soon they will be traveling into heaven. On the very last evening of summer, Garmin checks his school bag once again. He organizes his pencil case. One soccer ball eraser, eight colored pencils, and two sharp pencils. As he buckles his backpack, he can feel a cool breeze. Before going to bed, he checks his teeth one last time to see if any are loose. 13 hours to go before school starts. 
and Garmin is scared.